if you take an IP, if you take a character, if you take a story that people are attached to, that has a dedicated fan base, that has people who have watched it for years and years, and you decide to take that and inherently change it, people are probably going to have a problem. But when you take something like Scooby-Doo and you decide to not only remove the character of Scooby-Doo, but also race swap effectively every character involved, and then, by the way, in your first promotional trailer, you take shots at fans, you shouldn't be surprised if people have a problem with what you're doing. And that's exactly what's happening with the Velma series for HBO Max. Now, David Zaslav came into Warner Brothers, came into HBO Max, and he cut a bunch of different stuff, including a bunch of animated projects. This apparently was something that made the cut, whether it's because they had money tied up in it, whether it's because it was so far along, I don't know. One thing I do know is that it's going to have significant backlash until the day it's released. Mindy Kaling reacts to backlash surrounding Velma being reimagined as South Asian in new series. I think the vast majority of people are excited and ready for it, and the show is for them. Mindy Kaling said of the iconic character being of South Asian descent in her new HBO Max series, Velma. Would you call this overwhelming majority of people? 22,000 upvotes to 156,000 downvotes. I think the overwhelming majority is a little bit against you here, Mindy Kaling, just a guess. And when you look through these comments, they're perfect. The part where Velma turned to Scooby and proclaimed, you're the man now, dog, had me leaping out of my seat. A truly historic moment. I love the part where Velma says, it's Velma time, and proceeded to Velma all over the bad guys, sent shivers down my spine. When Velma said, everyone who isn't a homophobic weirdo should go see bros, it was so powerful. It gave me chills. We've seen this over and over again, especially on these properties that get massive pushback. You can't say anything negative anymore because these people will delete your comments. They will censor you. So instead, you have to be so ridiculously sarcastic that people know you're trolling. That's exactly what's going on with Velma. And if you have not heard this yet, just take a listen to the char these characters that effectively all of them are race swapped, that they're changing so much about this story. Uh, listen to what is said here. Do you intend to make a genre-bending comedic origin story of Judy Jetson? When I heard this new version of Judy Jetson wouldn't be boy crazy, the only word I had to describe my disgust is jinkies. And if you haven't caught on yet, like they are making fun of the fans. They are making fun of their audience. They're making fun of people who get pissed off when these corporations come in and change things. If there is one thing the internet agrees on, it's that you should never change anything ever. I hope you die. Sincerely, Velma. Well, at least Judy's still white. <sighs> That's the first thing you do while opening this up. And, and the more you learn, <laughs> the more you learn about this and the more you listen to the things that Mindy Kaling has said about this, the more ridiculous this seems. Mindy Kaling reacts to backlash surrounding this. Mindy Kaling speaking about the backlash over the reimagining of Scooby-Doo's Velma. I don't know why it's called Scooby-Doo's Velma because, as we mentioned, Scooby-Doo is not in this series because they felt like that's what made it a kid's show. Yes, the only thing, the talking dog was the only thing that made this a kid's series, not the rest. We didn't have any kid's series that just had people in it with no talking dogs. It must have been the talking dog. Good thing you removed him. The Mindy Project star admitted she's const constantly surprised by reactions to everything on social media. Maybe it's because you live in a world that is not real. I think of the characters in this are so iconic, but in no way is the gang defined by their whiteness, except for Fred. Interesting. So I see I was a little bit surprised. And I think most Indian American girls, when they see this skeptical, hardworking, kind of underappreciated character, can identify with her. I think the vast majority of people are excited and ready for it, and the show is for all of them. My question would be, if you identify with this character, in what world would you feel it necessary to change their race? I think that everybody of my race, all girls like me of my race, could identify with this character. But by the way, in order for me to voice this character, she needs to look exactly like me. Very fucking interesting. It is, they should have named this show The Mindy Project. That's what this series should have been named. But it seems like there's some sort of target on Velma's back for some reason. Because this is not the only Velma project 
that Warner Brothers or HBO has going on right now. If you look right here, you could see Gay Velma is finally canon. Now, this isn't a different one. This is a Halloween special Scooby-Doo project. Uh, now, Velma's not race-swapped in this. It's now... Velma's a lesbian now. Now, some people have wanted to put that on her for quite some time. Well, now she's officially a lesbian. No word on whether Mindy Kaling's race-swapped Velma that's coming out in a similar time frame will also be lesbian. If they make her straight, is that going to be a problem for people? Is, is it going to be not diverse enough, not virtue signaling enough to have one that's simply race-swapped, but not also a lesbian? Well, to the, Google was very excited about this, though. Google was very excited that they revealed that Velma was a lesbian. If you Googled Velma's name, if you Googled her name a few days ago, this is what you got. A, a I don't know, a, a pride confetti rainbow thing just coming down your screen on Google. Uh, amazing. Do we have that when, for, for straight people? I don't think so. It must just be very exclusively a gay pride thing. For characters that are gay, boom, you get a celebratory Google search for you. But this is just insane. The fact that two pro two projects at the same time coming out surrounding Scooby-Doo, where they decide that Velma is the thing that they really need to change inherently. And in this series, it's not just Velma. Like we said before, Daphne is now Asian. Uh, Shaggy is now Norville, which is his like given actual name. And I suppose it wouldn't make much sense for a guy that has hair like this to be called Shaggy. Oh, by the way, he's also black in case you hadn't noticed. And Fred just looks like a super anime character, I suppose. A little bit different animation style for him and no Scooby-Doo. No wonder this thing's being downvoted into oblivion. No wonder this thing's a disaster before it's even started because they decided to prioritize identity politics and shit on fans from the very beginning. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.